Hello. Hi, Mr. Plum. We are Plum and Plumber. And it's another weekend. Get in. Gin, barbecue, all that lot happening today. So, we're going to do a quick roundup. So, um, I'm not going to do any work on the garage yoss or any cars today. I'm going to tell you a little story. And I've got to take a break here now to do the thumbnail. Yeah. So, as you know, um, I haven't been doing any work on the Peugeot, not since about February. So, um, I took it off the road. I stopped paying tax on it, didn't bother getting the MOT done. You know, I was spacing out the MOTs, so they weren't going MOT, 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 every few months. So, I laid it up. I was a bit of a nonce, because I didn't declare it was na na uh, laid up to the DVLA. So, I'd, I'd get a letter from her and say, Are you going to pay any tax on your vehicle, Mr Plum? And I thought, well, I've, I've laid it up off the road. So, I sent him another letter. Are you going to pay any tax on your vehicle, Mr Plum? So, I ignored it again. I thought, oh, I'm saving myself some money. I'm not using the car. It's off the road. It's all insured. All right. It's not MOT or tax. In come the letter. You is fined, son. So, I paid the fine. And sawned it. Officially sawned it. A statutory off-road notice uh, for the Peugeot. Yeah. So, I was a bit of a nonce. Didn't do it. Um, they were right about it. So, I laid the car up, top of the road, in the car park, out of sight, out of view, being a neighbour and being a neighbourly sort of thing to do. I parked it behind one of my neighbour's huge camper van, because he's one of these camping nonces. And so I thought, if I park it behind that, it'd be out of view, people won't see this dirty Peugeot. I thought I was doing the decent thing. Anyway, last week, said neighbour, Nancy Campervan, knocks on my door. Mr Plum? Yeah? I, I don't know if you've seen this on your windscreen. No, good neighbour, I have not. So, a notice from Fairham Borough Council. A notice of reported abandonment. I thanked said neighbour, controlled myself, let him go about his day. I then ring the council. What do you think you're doing? Now, now Mr Plum, Mr. Plum, she had the same voice as me, it's brilliant. Mr. Plum, so your vehicle has been reported abandoned. But how can it be abandoned? I've sawned it, I own it, it's insured, it's off the road. Ah, uh, but yes, 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 Mr. Plum. Because even though you've sawned it, it's insured, it has to be on your personal property. Well, I didn't know that, did I? So I thought I was doing the neighbourly thing, parking it up the road out, out of sight. So, anyway, she says to me, you need to move that vehicle onto your own personal property. So I start thinking to myself, I've got three vehicles and a drive big enough for two. So I've got the Z3, I've got the Skoda, and I've got the Peugeot. So, I start thinking to myself, where can I put the Peugeot? I've got a back garden, I've got a, I've got a front garden. So I've done this. Upstairs for thinking, downstairs for dancing. Nobody can touch it. It looks a bit messy because it's a car on grass. Looks a bit odd. But, yeah. 
It's the way I can abide by the law and keep my three vehicles until I get that car MOT'd. Anyway, I am Mr. Plum, we are Plum and Plumber, and I do things the way I do, because I like being neighbourly, because I don't know what I'm doing. And I shall see you on the next job.